Hello, my name is Vincent Gardner, and I'm going to talk about playing lead trombone and the responsibilities of playing lead trombone in a big band. First of all, the lead trombone, the lead voice, is meant to, of course, play the top note in the voicing that's voiced out for the trombone section. Sometimes that's impairing with other instruments, sometimes it's not. You have to remember that however many trombone players are in your section, that they are following you, or they're supposed to be following the way that you play things. So it's important that you state your part very clearly and with, with a lot of, of definition. It's also very important that you try to be, be as in tune as possible when you play because, again, the people that either you're playing with or that are playing with you, depending on the situation, are following your lead for the intonation of a particular passage of music. We also have the responsibility, because we're trombone players and because we don't play the highest instrument in the band, it's important that, to know that mo many of the times we're in the middle of the orchestration. A lot of times the lead trombone player will have the same note as the lead trumpet an octave down. So it's very important to try to match everything about how the lead player is playing when you play in those types of situations. Everything from their intonation to when they cut, start and stop their notes to the way that they start and stop their notes, the amount of articulation or tongue, as we like to say, that they put on the notes, to the vibrato that the lead player may use, to any other stylistic nuance that they might use when they're playing. So it's important that us being in the middle, where the trombone section becomes the meat of the sound of, of, a, of the brass section in the band. So it's important that we match the upper voices, the trumpets. It's important that we match them in everything that they do. And so it's really upon you as the lead trombone player to set that precedent within your section of how to match the lead player, the lead trumpet player in the band. Stylistically, we also have a lot of choices to make depending on the situation. When we're playing solely passages, we have a lot more leeway than when we're not playing solely passages, which means that the trombone section is playing a, p a passage of music separate from the upper brass or the saxophones, that they're playing a, a passage of music written specifically for the three or four trombones, depending on what you have written, in, what you have in your band. When we're playing those types of passages, it's important that the lead trombone player takes the lead in setting the phrasing, but it's also important to know that playing, a, playing lead trombone is not being a dictator. It's important to realize that the other guys in your section, they might have stylistic ideas for ways to phrase certain things. And it's important that, that you use your ideas and combine them with ideas that other people might have because those are the things that are going to make your section sound unlike another section at another school down the street or in another town or wherever they may be. The things that c come together when, when, when multiple human ideas come together to guide something are the things that make a certain thing very unique. And that's how a trombone section becomes unique within a certain environment. And four other guys or three other guys at another school that do that, they're going to come up with a different way of playing the same passage than you were if they follow the same advice. So it's very important that not only do you have many options stylistically to present in order to, to phrase things, but you also listen to the ideas that are around you and make a combination of those in order to, to bring about individuality within the music. So another note about phrasing. The best way to have different options for phrasing is to draw them from the set of nuances that come from improvisation. So to make it simple, if you want to learn how to phrase well, you have to learn how to improvise. Improvisation and all of the different things that occur within the very, very liberal and free, free environment of improvisation those things can be translated to the big band setting, especially in the lead trombone or any of the lead parts. The different scoops and slides and trills and different nuances that people do when they solo because they're not fixed to a written part. Those are the same types of things that you can bring to your phrasing, but you have to learn those things by transcribing, learning solos, and learning what they're doing and why they're doing it in certain instances in solos. And then you translate that to the, to the big band format when you're playing lead trombone.